lot of work, brother. Uh, my schedule is 9 a.m. today all the way to 5, so there's a lot of things to do. Busy, but I'm, I'm not a complainer, so it's okay for me. Uh, I think we got a lot of eyes on this fight. Uh, this guy is very tough, but <clears throat> we're going to test, right? We're going to see if that guy is real or not. And uh, I'm here. I'm the guy to, to, to test this guy, to stop the, the, the hype train. So I like it. You know, I'm here in this position. I asked to be here. And uh, I want to I wanna fight the best guys. If he's the one of that, if he's that beast, that's the guy that I want to fight. Yeah. I mean, you've been around this game for a long time at this point. You've seen people come into the sport, get hyped. But I mean, what do you make of this? Because it feels like people are just ready to write you off and be like, you're just the next victim, you know what I mean? Is that bizarre to you or do you take offense to that? I don't mind. I like to be the underdog. I be the underdog in one of my last maybe five, six fights. So, to be honest, it, it doesn't matter, like, right? It doesn't matter what people think about you. It matters what you think about you. So. I don't mind, so I know me, I'm not coming me off, brother. I'm, I'm coming and I'm gonna beat this guy. And uh, Saturday after the fight, I'll be here talking to you guys. But uh, it doesn't matter, it matters what I think, what my team thinks, what my family thinks. And they all believe in me, they, always, they all support me. So that's the ones that count, you know, the, the not, not offense to you guys, but the media, the fans, the, that doesn't matter, you know. When you take away all the hype and the reputation, just look at him technically speaking, what is it about his grappling game that you see that's made it so effective? Nothing special. I think uh, his wrestling is very good. His control and ground and pound is good. And the fact that he's very long, he helps you. So he, then he gets grips, good control. He knows where to put away. Very technical. Uh, he's hard. Uh, but the opponent's didn't help as well too. Those guys don't know how to get up. Those, the other one don't know how to wrestle. I don't. I don't even know. I gotta look at twice. His first two UFC opponents. Do you know their name? Anyone? No one knows. So those guys for sure they're pretty tough to be in the UFC, but they not Gilbert Burns. They not. They not on the top of this division. So I, all due respect. Sorry for you if you were one of these guys. No offense, but. I'm at the top of the division, you know, I give these guys an opportunity, I want to fight him because I believe he's very good, I don't see a monster, you know, I don't see, I see a human being confident, a little bit cocky, undefeated, thinking he's invincible, untouchable, but we shall see, we shall see Saturday. Like I said, you're clearly the most decorated person that he's fought so far, do you think he'll be as aggressive as he has been in those other fights, knowing what's at stake here, do you think he even knows, I, I got to take this one a little bit differently? To be honest, I don't know. I'm ready. We, I, I have my strategy either way. I do think he's a fast starter. It's so, so am I. I don't think he's gonna change that as much. I, I'm still not sure if he's gonna wrestle right away. I hope so. I don't. I'm not sure. But he, his tendency is to strike more when he see another grappler. Is to strike. He got heavy hands. He kind of. The, that's the thing, when two grapplers, two wrestlers go to a fight, we're not uh, the, talking as a grappler. We, like, I know the guy doesn't have a better uh, striking than me, so we both get comfortable. That's why sometimes when two grapplers, two strike, two wrestler, grappler go to a fight, they they stand, they finish with the, end up being in a stand-up war because of that, because, oh, that guy doesn't have a better striking than me. So both guys have the same mentality. Sometimes he comes with that mentality, but I don't know. You gotta ask him and let me know. I think he's gonna wrestle. <laughs> we'll get the answer to you. Uh, and I guess last thing for me, I mean, obviously people are saying if he wins, he fights for the title. Uh, do you have a, a plan in mind of what you should deserve? I mean, you're, like you said, you're one of the few guys that put your hands in the air and say, give me this guy that you guys all say is a killer. Do you know what that should just, you know, earn you or what you should deserve after this? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think everything depends about the performance. If I go out there and get a finish, I believe I earn it in, in bro, no, no sad stories, you know, if if I don't, I'll fight another guy, like, I'm not thinking too much ahead, okay, because the scenario is so big, Kamaru gonna fight Leon, he, he, I think he's gonna win, but he might lose, Vicente is fighting Bilal, I do believe Vicente is gonna win, 
So he, it all depends, you know. Maybe tomorrow, maybe that fight goes to September. Maybe if he lost, it gotta be a trilogy. So I'm not thinking too much ahead. You know, I have a big, what, Russian problem in front of me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm never looking past this guy. I think he's a very tough and I respect him that. Gilbert over here. Do you feel a chip on your shoulder heading into this fight because of how people are seemingly viewing this one? The betting lines, the obviously the fans are going one way. You're flying under the radar here, but do you feel like you're fighting with the chip on your shoulder, or is, the, or is this just any kind of any other fight for you? It's always a pressure going through the fight. Always, if they say, "Oh no, I'm not for the pressure," they they liar, they lie. It's always a pressure. I don't have, I don't think I have a, a, a chip on my shoulder because freaking. The, the odds are saying he's going to win. Everyone's saying he's going to win. He's all that more. So he, he's, to be honest, he's a little bit less. He's still pressure. I'm not going to say no. He's, but it's a little bit less pressure because that guy's the hype train. He's supposed to win and fight out the sun. So he's a little bit less pressure. He's still pressure. I'm not going to say, oh, no. He's still pressure, but kind of a little bit less pressure. is on these guys. I'm giving him the opportunity. I'm the number two. He got to come and take it. When Hamza was in here earlier, we asked him if this was the toughest fight of his career, and he said no, and then he named another opponent that he felt was tougher than you. Where does he rank on paper in terms of toughest matchups to prepare for? Because you fought the current champion, a guy many consider to be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the planet right now. You fought former title challengers. You fought former champions on the way up here. Where does Shamayev rank in terms of your toughest opponents on paper? He's right there, top five, you know. I don't think he's number one. I think Kamar proved many times he's the number one. And uh, yeah, got a couple couple other tough guys. Steven Thompson, Maya in Brazil, you know. I think he's there, top five of my tough opponents, but we shall see, you know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna answer that Saturday after the fight. And then last thing for me, when you come back here and you're, and you're talking to us and we're, at least that's what you're saying is gonna happen on Saturday night. What's the headline gonna read at the end of the fight? Is it just gonna be Gilbert Burns beats Hamza Chimaev or is it gonna be Gilbert Burns crushes Hamza Chimaev? Like what is the headline gonna read across the globe after Saturday? I brother, I don't know how we should do, but we shall see. I think I'm gonna get a finish with this guy, but I don't know, he's very tough, so I'm, I'm kind of respecting that, but I do believe the way we both fight, I'm gonna get a finish. Good evening, uh, real quick. Um, Hamza came up here and he said that you weren't his uh, toughest opponent that he's had, but I mean, if you look at the numbers, obviously you're the most decorated, you're the one that has achieved the most. Um, what, what do you make of that? Do you feel like that's just part of the media, part of the talk, or, or what do you make of, of those comments? Merry Christmas for this guy. It is what it is, whatever he want to say, that's it, yeah. And uh, we, we took out that uh, workout video um, on MMA Junkie and it blew up and it received a, a crazy response. Just wondering, have people reached out to you? Because people were shocked that you were able to do that kind of work. She, uh, last Saturday I had another one and then was, I do believe I did a lot better, but she, those guys at IAGP, 